Brooke Davis, a 40-year-old mom of two from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, was already living with multiple sclerosis when a test revealed something unexpected. I just went in for a routine mammogram and things happened pretty quickly after that. The diagnosis? Breast cancer. Brooke knew she would have to undergo surgery. I was really worried about a mastectomy because my mom had just had one like two years prior. To, I wasn't sure if I was going to be a candidate for reconstructive surgery. Being younger, that was really my biggest worry. At Mercy Cedar Rapids Hall Perrine Cancer Center, Brooke found the care she needed. It was a blessing to me to have a team full of people that I trusted. Dr. Vincent Reed, chairman of surgery at Mercy Cedar Rapids, had already started using new AI technology from Symbiosis, a health technology company. The FDA cleared AI software called TumorSight Viz uses AI powered segmentation to take standard breast MRI scans and turn them into 3D models, helping doctors see the breasts and tumors in new ways. Certainly, uh, given the concerns that Brooke just outlined, she was the ideal candidate to apply this uh, AI technology. AI in healthcare has been growing at an exponential rate. It's the cutting edge technology from the most valuable company in the world, NVIDIA, that is powering these advancements. These are extraordinary um, innovations and platforms that are empowering doctors to become super doctors and get back into the medical practice of caring for one patient at a time on a very personal level. Experts caution that new clinical tools like this still require careful oversight. And because AI learns from data it's trained on, there may be increased risk of misfindings or misreadings on certain vulnerable populations. That's why collaboration between engineers, providers, and regulatory frameworks remain essential before broad adoption. I think that medicine particularly, and, and surgery uh, for sure, was a little late getting into the game of AI for good reason. Surgeons are conservative. Uh, we take care of patients. We want to make sure things are checked and verified before we apply that technology to patients. With FDA clearance, Dr. Reed felt confident in applying this technology to his practice. This gives you that ultimate surgical planning uh, platform that allows you to, to kind of answer those questions that you are speculating about. Tumor Sight's 3D model of Brooks MRI revealed that an alternative to a mastectomy was possible. This 3D digital twin of our, our regular MRI, we came to the conclusion that it would be technically feasible to preserve Brooks' native breast tissue and with some minimal rearrangement of the breast tissue called oncoplasty to be able to have a good cosmetic outcome. For Brooke, she says this technology was a blessing. I'm coming out on the other side without any of that disfigurement that's typically associated with breast cancer. So when I look in the mirror, I am just completely normal me. Brooke's family, including her daughters, were there with her every step of the way. I think it was good for them to see these advancements in technology with breast cancer, especially since now their risk of breast cancer, you know, is raised in the future. And to be able to see their mom come through it on the other side without that disfigurement, it gives a lot of hope to a lot of people. Today, Brooke has finished radiation and is officially in recovery. Now I'm in the post phase, I guess you would say. The reflection phase. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, looking back, you're looking back at your treatment, um, which is a good place to be. Yeah. So. For Dr. Reed, being a part of Brooke's healing journey has left a lasting impact. I've been truly honored uh, to take care of Brooke. I'm glad we met. You gave me the opportunity to take care of you. I remember the impact it had on me the first time I met you and your, your daughters. You were a beautiful family, and I'm, I'm just glad I had the opportunity to take care of you. Yeah, I appreciate you too.